Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. I missed you. I hope you missed me and I hope you've been catching up with my shorts. I've been doing a lot of DIY and today I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing. The company that I'm unboxing is Cozy Threads. This is what their logo looks like right there. And Cozy Threads is a new company. Um, I'm going to read from the um, Instagram. Cozy Threads is sustainable wholesale reimagine your sourcing service and it's a partner of helpsy okay and helpsy is a new york based certified b corp closing the fashion loop right they've collected over 25 million pounds of clothes and shoes for reuse and recycling so the helpsy portion is a reuse recycling um district distribution and then cozy is a brand new company that takes those items boxes them up and they deliver them to your home and cozy threads the shipping is free so i wanted to share this with you what i'm going to be unboxing today is a regen box of vintage t-shirts and they are basically stained or um, t-shirts that you can sell as is so my goal is to probably dye or tie-dye all of these shirts I really I've already looked at everything everything looks good these are boxes that I'm specifically sourcing I want to have 100% sustainable brand and cozy is going to help me do that cozy threads is going to help me do that so this particular box what I'm going to be doing today is showing you what I got and the next um, videos probably I don't know if I'm going to do a video for each shirt um, combine we'll have to see time wise what works for me but I'm going to be showing you the process of what I'm doing to each of these shirts as I go along so hopefully you'll you'll hang in for the ride I hope you've missed me enough <laughs> that you'll hang in for the ride and um, so let's just jump into it what cozy means it means reborn renew and so that's what i'm focusing on this particular box is the regen bleach pack women's men's so it's regen bleach pack tees men's and women's this particular box costs 80 dollars. you can use a reseller's passion to get 10 percent these t-shirts and again most of them are vintage so this first one let me look at it it is <laughs> It's Pete and Elda's um, Carmen's Pizzeria in Neptune City, New Jersey. Hey, I can dye this. Someone may like this shirt. And actually, this is one. This doesn't have any stains on it. So I could probably sell as is. Collegiate Conference. I'll think about. So on the back, you see the NCAA. And here is all that stuff that I read on the front. This particular shirt is does have stains on it. So I think I'm going to dye it. Of I Love Lucy. So whoever was like, I love Lucy fan, this particular shirt, I think it has a few um, stains on it. I sh I did a reels about these shirts already, something just a 30 second reel. And people were already asking me about these shirts, but I wanted to do a full. And it definitely has stains on it. So I have to decide like what I want to do with it. And don't worry, my goal, as I indicated, is to yes. show you guys. This one has a lot of stains. Um, what this, I did. Is this is Planet, Planet Hollywood, Hollywood Maui. So if you've ever been to Hawaii, maybe you've been to the Planet Hollywood. They're all white. So um, hopefully I said that because it is considered like a bleach pack. This is, um, this says Venus on the front of it. I could probably I fit really almost every shirt. With so it. I'll probably do it before. Yeah, it, it has stains okay, all over it. But just adding some color will bring new life to it. Now, there are people who are very... Um, they are very committed to it's their the shirt. shirts it's or their country. It is or American Originals, and it's it. got all these animals. So I just want to let you know that I like everything in this box, and I'm going to be ordering another one. And again, in the box is eighty dollars. Um, this is how I started my tie dye business by getting these boxes. It actually looks and like a hand painted. Shirts are pretty big. 
This is one of my favorites. I'm from Philly. So if anybody knows Lenny Dykstra from the Philadelphia Phillies, Superstars, number one, it says official play-by-play -play equipment. Um, that's right there. And here he is again. Yeah, Philly, y'all. Okay, so, so it's 1993 shirts as Alaska. A, a and a great way to decide like what colors you want to use on these type of this shirts is, a, is just to pull a the Milltown 5K Road Race, 4th of July, 1990, Johnson & Johnson. I did this on the reels and someone's like, Johnson & Johnson, let me tell you, you never know what somebody's going to buy or looking for. I've sold some crazy things that I'm like, no one's going to buy that. But by the time I buy the box, dye it, and throw it up for sale and only ask for like, you know, $15, $20 for it, people will buy just about anything. So you never say never. What's not important to you may be really important to someone else. Man, I've, I've dyed it. Somebody Daytona Beach, this is stained. But the graphic is still really nice. And I'm going to tell you, I'm probably going to try all these. All these shirts will probably fit me. And this, it's, this is very rare. I consider myself a plus size um, female. And it's so hard to find like shirts. I love buying things purposely now that I can like model before, go through the dyeing process or the upcycling or upworking process and then coming back and wearing it again that makes me feel good this is the front there's his information on the pocket but then if you're a fish lover and a guy harvey lover that's what you're getting there home welcome friends plant the seeds that no it says heart and home welcome friends plant the seeds that love tens and it's air harvey's is the company but how cool is that it is stained, so I'm going to definitely do something to it, okay? And I will just give you a quick tip. If you're dyeing something, people always ask me, how do I get around the graphic? You don't have to do a bunch technique like this, where you see how I have the color. You can actually take your graphic and rubber band and then dye all around it. And then this, I actually stick my items into bags, put them in bag. And this will stick out and it won't have any color. I might sprinkle some color perfect, purposely um, in certain areas, but it won't get co this color. So all so this will be dyed. And that's probably it is a single I'll stitch vintage tee. Bam. That's Mick Lord Jagger's tongue Thomas. right there. And I really like, I've actually sold a couple um, shirts. Pink flamingos and the shirt like itself. This. And this is a I don't know. I want to say it's like a medium. And look how cool these flamingos are. But it's like stained. You can see those stains right there. And I want to do something with this shirt. So I'm going to have to really think about it. I might just do like a dip process and change the whole color of the shirt. And I don't know if this is the Olympics or something. You tell me. Leave it in the comments if you know. And this is cool because the sleeves kind of fold up. And this is stained. So I'm going to definitely have to come up with some dyed, um, some colors or something. Um, this, to on. this is the last Stein, one. Stein, I think. <laughs> it has stains on it, but how cool. Okay, so that was my Regen Bleach Pack from Cozy Threads. It is $80. Um, I'm going to drop my code down below in the comments, and you can get 10%. You just use a reseller's passion, 10%. But if you go to Cozy Threads, the, the website will be down there as well. Go through there, check out. They have some great stuff. Um, my next video is going to be a box of Regen Bleach Shoes, so check that out.